What's cracking everybody? It's me, Scuba Steve, and today we're in the lake and we're gonna teach you how to snorkel. Stay tuned. So before you can go snorkeling, you need two major things, a dive mask and a snorkel. Today we're gonna be using the Kraken Aquatics dry snorkel. That's a little bit different construction than a typical snorkel that doesn't have a dry spout or a purge valve. A good rule of thumb to have when snorkeling for your first time, you may want to try to snorkel with a dive mask and a dry snorkel in a controlled environment. Maybe a bathtub if you're younger or smaller, or even a swimming pool with the correct supervision. For adults, use your own discretion, whatever you are comfortable doing. The only reason I give that tip is so that if something happens with the dry snorkel, you can get to the side of the pool really quick. It's important to understand snorkeling is not free diving and snorkeling is definitely not scuba diving. Snorkeling is a leisure activity. That means have fun doing it. It's a good hobby and it's relaxing. A lot of people think it's therapeutic. I happen to be one of those. When snorkeling, you want a dive mask that fits properly and you need to understand how to use your snorkel. This is really a life-saving device, whether you thought that was the case or not. Another thing you may want to use are fins if you're going snorkeling and you just want to have good, consistent strides. But for the sake of this video, if you just want to run out and get you a dive mask and a snorkel and then learn how to snorkel, then you really only need these things. Also want to note, it's helpful to know how to swim strongly. For children or those who may not know how to swim, even as adults, I recommend getting a life jacket. That doesn't mean you can't snorkel. You can still have a great time snorkeling around with a life jacket on. Let's look at the dry snorkel really quick. The dry snorkel will actually be on my right side for the sake of snorkeling. For snorkeling, it does not matter what side you have your snorkel on. I know in the scuba diving community, it's preferred to be on the left side so that your hoses do not intertwine and risk getting bunched up. But your preference on which side, I choose my right side. So with this being a dry snorkel, what that means is if I get water inside of the snorkel, it's already gonna purge the water out like so because it's got a purge valve. If you have a snorkel that you don't have a purge valve, don't freak out, it's okay. This is kind of how it'll look. So I'm gonna get water in here and kind of simulate what would happen. I'm gonna cup the purge valve with my hand. And then what you're gonna wanna do is to put your mouth on the mouthpiece of the snorkel and then what you want to do to be able to expel the water from your snorkel if you don't have a dry snorkel is to inhale, put your mouth on the mouthpiece and exhale really hard blowing the water out from the tube. Like so. See, you get a little bit in your mouth, just spit it out. Now, for a dry snorkel, that doesn't have to happen necessarily because of how it's constructed. I put that in the water, it bubbles water out of the mouth, which you have to be careful underwater at times, and out of the purge valve is where it's mainly going to go. Another rule of thumb, this is a snorkel, which means this piece right here, the tube, needs to be above the water, above your head at all times. If it goes underwater, you're gonna have water in your snorkel. So now let's show you how to put on the equipment. With this, I have the Kraken Aquatic snorkel connector that will connect to the dive mask. You put the dive mask on, make sure it's comfortable. So for this one, I'm actually gonna tighten it just a little bit. You wanna get this into the place that you're comfortable feeling, and now you're ready to go snorkeling. Now, it may freak some people out to have never breathed underwater like this before. It's okay. It's a new world if you've never snorkeled before. You get to put your face underwater and see wherever you are, ocean, lake, river, stream, pond, bathtub, wherever you are, you get to see underwater. Humans can't normally do that. Now watch as I go underwater, I'm gonna back up a little bit and I want you to see the placement of the snorkel. Notice as I was down there, the spout stayed above the water at all times. I'm gonna show you right now how it'll look if the spout goes down underwater with my head. Watch. So if and when it's gonna happen, because when you're like, oh, I wanna go deeper into the water, you're gonna submerge your snorkel underwater and it's okay, just practice the same steps of being calm. You need to ascend blow out the water or if you need to do like a dumping method if you don't have a purge valve then that's okay if you have enough air in your lungs when you go under you can simply take that air 
and exhale with some force and the water will expel. A lot of times when people get water in the snorkel for their first time, or if they're just not thinking and it's not quite second nature yet, they'll breathe in the water. I actually did that recently because my mind was elsewhere. I went to purge a snorkel and I inhaled water and it's not a good time. But hey, it happens, just stay calm. If water enters you, make sure you take good deep breaths, try to get anything up that shouldn't have went down and just relax and have fun with it. Again, it's a leisure activity. Now, flotation and a constant stride are helpful. Now, I'm in really shallow water. I'm actually on my knees right now talking to you. So I'm gonna use this for the sake of showing you how to begin to snorkel where I can almost just kind of walk on the surface with my hands because the idea isn't how to do it professionally. There's many ways on how to snorkel, whether you float if you're on a life preserver or whatnot, a life jacket, uh, whether you're swimming with fins and it's keeping a consistent stride, you're just putting your head underwater because hey, the, the goal is to have fun and to see the underwater world no matter where you are. Again, lake, river, ocean, the world is literally brand new to you if you've never snorkeled before underwater. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks, I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple times to show you how I consistently and relaxingly snorkel. So I got to see the underwater world while I was down there and look, I found some seashells. Are they really considered seashells though if this isn't the sea? Huh, let me know in the comments. So again, the goal is to just put goggles on your face and breathe underwater while you're watching the world underneath. So with snorkeling, be comfortable, be confident, relax and enjoy the adventure. And hey, when you get good at snorkeling and you've mastered the bathtub, you've mastered the swimming pool and you come out to the lakes and the streams, I encourage you, try to find some treasure. I love finding iPhones, bracelets, sunglasses. So I hope this quick video helped you tackle any type of fear or question that you may have if you're new to the idea of snorkeling. I highly encourage you to just jump in the water and get it done. It's an amazing thing. It's, a, it's an awesome, relaxing leisure activity and it may just be what you need to take some stress off. And scuba divers that may be watching, I understand this is a distress signal. I know I usually put that on my neck when I talk, but for the sake of a snorkeling video, it's gonna stay on the head. <laughs> All right, I'm Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics. We will catch you on the next adventure.